guys, it's me, Niha. Welcome back to our channel, Nanga Girls. Time to be creative with Sana and Niha. So today, I'm going to be saying a bedtime story. And the story is Thunder, Lightning, and Storm. So let's get into the story. And before that, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and don't forget to see more videos of Nama Girls trying to be creative with Sana and Niha. So let's get into the story. So, a long time ago, there lived a powerful hermit named Lukta Moniese. For short, we'll call him Lukta. He had three promising students. Moni Mekla, the brilliant goddess of the sea. Warachun, the prince of the earth. And Rhea Meso, who is a demon and his heart burned with fire and ashes. Lukta wanted to know which student was the best among the three, so he challenged them to a contest. Whoever got a full glass of morning dew gets the prize of a mysterious gift. So everyone, like Wachon and Rie and so went in more in the early morning and they collected dew. And while they returned to the hut, they saw Moni Mekla with a full glass of morning dew sitting patiently next to her teacher. Lopta told that Moni Mekla won the challenge. But thinking as, as if all of them was his own children, he gave them all gifts. He turned the, he turned the dew which Rhea Meso collected into a diamond axe. For Warachon, a magic dagger, and for Moni Mechula, a crystal ball unlike anything you never saw. It was shining just like diamonds. Ben looked very, very, very pretty, but it was so powerful. Rhea Meso was very jealous, so he thought of taking the crystal ball. He lured Moni Mechula and asked him if he could have get the crystal ball, but she refused and flown off. But Rhea Meso didn't agree this quickly. He wanted the crystal ball by force, so he flew off into the air in search of Moni Makula. But on his way, he attacked Warachon. Because Warachon was a very kind and caring person, so he didn't want Rhea Meso to take away the crystal ball from Moni Makula, so they both challenged themselves. But Warchon failed and he died by a mountain. Soon, Rhea Meso reached where Moni Mekula was staying. She was staying with her friends in a pond, and they were talking. Rhea Meso said that they all should say that I was the best student of Lokta, and I'm the master of the crystal ball. But Moni Mekula, with no fear, fear just flew off into the sky and Rhea Meso followed. One last time, Rhea Meso asked to give the crystal ball, but soon she told again a no. With that, he, he was about to attack her with his diamond axe. Before that, Moni Mekula threw her ball into the air and it shined like any ball you've never seen. It had all the magic powers and thunder and lightning came which blinded the demon, and he left his weapon, and it flew into the air. His weapon cut through clouds, and it mixed with the thunder and lightning, and precious seeds of drops came from heaven. This was rain. The blinded demon asked for mercy, but Moni Mekula thought of what she had to do to the murderer. But thinking of the kindness of her teacher, she, she chose compassion, and she leapt into the sky. When Rhea Meso got his strength, he flown back and was in search of her. Warachon seed, Warachon became so powerful now, he flew into the sky. Yes. 